Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I have no pleasure in sharing the story that I'm about to share with you today. But I share stuff like this because we are undoubtedly living in the end times. And the Bible said the last days would look exactly like this. And Jesus Christ is about to rapture his church at any moment before the worst time in human history known as the tribulation period begins. And trust me, you do not want to be here for what is coming upon this earth. Just go read Revelation chapter 6 through Revelation chapter 19. You think it's bad now? You ain't seen nothing yet. It is going to be horrific when this tribulation uh, period begins. I also share stories like this because I love the Lord Jesus Christ and I want people to know the truth. And I will speak against the lies and deception out there because I want people to get saved. You know, in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, the Apostle Paul records the following. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. What I'm about to share with you is a prime exa example of what the Apostle Paul records, the condition the world would look like in the last days. In fact, in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, the Apostle Paul records the following. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. This short video I'm about to share with you was just recorded the other day at a Lutheran church in Minnesota. Check this out. And let us confess our faith today in the words of the Sparkle Creed. I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. So just to reiterate what was said there, well, first off again, this was a Lutheran church in Minnesota that recited a sparkle creed about the non-binary God and Jesus' two dads during its Sunday service. Edina Community Lutheran Church pastor Anna Helgen asked the congregation to stand in body or spirit to confess our faith in the Sparkle Creed. According to the recording, the church went on to chant a statement of faith in the non-binary God and in Jesus Christ, who has two dads. I believe in the non-binary God, whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God, the church recited. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. I believe in the church of everyday saints as numerous, creative, and resilient as patches of the quilt, whose feet are grounded in mud and whose eyes gaze at the stars in wonder. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. So beloved, let us love. I believe glorious God Help my unbelief. Amen. Folks, the deception is so thick right now. There is absolutely a falling away from the truth, an apostasia happening right before our very eyes. And make no mistake about it, what you just saw there, this is doctrines of devils. And this isn't just happening in the Lutheran church in Minnesota. This is happening all over the world. But the Apostle Paul said this would happen in the last days. Make no mistake about it. Jesus Christ is coming quickly, one day very soon, to rapture his church. The tribulation period is casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. And if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day 
very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Belief. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.